I've already filled this tray up to 10 mm of water, so let's begin. The moment I lift this up 50 to 20 mm above the table, I will start. One, two, three. 5.35 seconds. I have to do two more readings. One, two, three. 5.57 seconds. One, two, three. 5.19 seconds. I add a more water to 20 mm. One, two, three, four point one three seconds. Repeat this again. One, two, three, four point two five seconds. One, two, three, four point oh three seconds. Let me add more water. I fill this up to thirty mm, so let's begin. Lift this up 15 to 20 mm high above the table and begin. 1, 2, 3. 3.53 seconds. Reset. Lift this up again and let's begin. 1, 2, 3. 3.4. Lift this up again and let's begin. 1, 2, 3. 3.41 Add more water making sure that now it's at the 40 mm mark Lift this up and let's begin 1 Two, three, three point one nine seconds. Release one, two, three, three point one nine seconds. One, two, three, three point one zero seconds. Lastly. 50 mm Get ready and begin 1, 2, 3 3.09 seconds Begin 1, 2, 3, 2.88 seconds. Ready, let's begin. 1, 2, 3, 2.87 seconds. Well, I've finished taking all the reading.
D says on a figure 1.4, which is this figure, plot a graph of the average speed C against the square root of the depth D. The, draw the best feet straight line taking into account of all your plotted points. Determine the gradient of the lines. So right now, let me draw the axis.
the question is that he's just dropping every speed. Is 35 yen. 35 mm. So we have to use square root. is around here 5.92 is here 5.9 go all the way up draw all the way to this part and this is the speed of the wave the average speed of the wave so here is 300, 300 and 35. So according to the graph here, the speed will be 335 mm per second. Remember L O V E D. L stands for lag time. O stands for other factors. In this case, other factors will come in. As I said before, lag time always has to go do with temperature. V stands for variation. We have already done a couple of readings over here. And E stands for environmental error. and D stand for definition. In this case, we can see here that L is a curved surface. Because of the curve, the length L measured will be different. As we go up, the length will not stay consistent. So the reason why the use of L may lead to error, we can say that because of other factors, the length of L changes as the container rises. Speed calculator will be too low because distance travel by the wave is actually longer. Therefore, what we calculated is too low. Suggest and explain one other source of error which is likely, likely to affect the accuracy of C. As we say before, L-O-V-E-D, in this case, we can actually use environmental error. Why? Because there will be likely, suggest one other source, environmental error. Water could stick at the side of the container causing inaccuracy in taking the reading.